Hey everyone, have you ever put yourself out there only to be met with a resounding no? Maybe it was a dream job application asking someone out or even pitching an idea to a friend. Rejection stings, right? It can leave you feeling insecure, doubtful, and maybe even a little angry. But what if there was a way to navigate these setbacks with grace and strength? Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Today, we're diving into the ancient philosophy of Stoicism and how it can be your ultimate guide to handling rejection. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and accept the things we can't. It's about building resilience and finding meaning even in the face of disappointment. Let's be honest, rejection can be a real downer. It can trigger a cascade of negative emotions, the feelings of inadequacy and fear of failure, to social anxiety. We might dwell on what we did wrong, replaying the scenario in our heads over and over again. This rumination can lead to harsh self-criticism, questioning our own value and abilities. The negativity can become a vicious cycle, holding us back from taking future risks and putting ourselves out there again. This can be especially damaging in areas like our careers or dating lives, where putting ourselves out there is crucial for success. Stoicism offers a powerful antidote to this negativity. One core principle is the concept of the dichotomy of control. This means separating things within your control your thoughts, actions, and reactions from things outside of your control, other people's opinions, external events. By focusing on what you can control, you can avoid wasting energy on things you can't change. Another key principle is the stoic concept of amor fati, a love of fate. It's not about passively accepting everything that happens, but rather acknowledging that some things are simply out of our hands. This doesn't mean giving up or resigning yourself to failure. Instead, it's about accepting the reality of the situation and focusing on how you can respond in a virtuous way. This could mean learning from the experience, using it as motivation to improve, or simply letting go and moving on. Here's a powerful stoic quote by the Roman emperor, Marcus Aurelius that encapsulates a profound truth about the human experience. Our life is what our thoughts make it. This quote serves as a reminder of the immense influence our internal narrative has on shaping our reality. When faced with rejection, it is all too easy to succumb to negative self-talk, allowing thoughts such as, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed to consume our minds. However, Stoicism offers a different perspective, urging us to challenge these self-defeating thoughts and reframe the situation. Instead of dwelling on our shortcomings, we are encouraged to ask ourselves empowering questions that foster personal growth and resilience. Questions like, what can I learn from this experience? And how can I use this setback as an opportunity for personal development? can help shift our mindset from one of defeat to one of possibility. In order to combat negative self-talk, it is crucial to rephrase our thoughts into positive affirmations. For instance, rather than entertaining the belief that I'm not good enough, we can adopt a more constructive mindset by affirming that this particular opportunity wasn't the right fit for me but there will be other chances that align better with my unique skills and experiences. It is important to recognize that rejection is an inevitable part of life, experienced by individuals from all walks of life, including the most accomplished and successful. By viewing rejection as a natural occurrence, rather than a reflection of our worth, we can transform it into a catalyst for personal growth and motivation. Each rejection becomes an opportunity to learn, adapt, and refine our approach, propelling us closer to our goals. In summary, 
Marcus Aurelius's stoic quote serves as a powerful reminder of the influence our thoughts have on shaping our lives by challenging negative self-talk, reframing our mindset, and embracing rejection as a chance for growth. We can cultivate resilience and continue striving towards our aspirations. Remember, rejection doesn't define you. By applying stoic principles, you can learn to focus on the positive aspects of the situation. Perhaps the rejection gave you valuable feedback you can use to improve. Maybe it opened your eyes to a new opportunity you hadn't considered before. Regardless of the specifics, there's always something to be gained from facing rejection. With a stoic mindset, you can cultivate optimism and resilience, bouncing back from setbacks, stronger and more determined than ever. If you're interested in learning more about stoicism, check out our other videos on the topic. Remember to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below how Stoicism has helped you overcome rejection.